previously on Hardcore Brawl Showdown. Okay, my I, my cheeks are clenched, waiting to see if. Uh... Oh man, um, how much mana do we have? We got you now, corn dog. Maybe this this is a little frightening still. Maybe it didn't matter what we kept. All right, we got the first one. Let's go. We just need one more. Oh no, I meant to do Dog Ritual. It took all my black sources. Why did you do it like that, Mana Tap? <laughs> uh, we were back in it. We were gonna Dark Ritual. Kill, kill. We feel bad for Corn Dog. We're, we'll, we'll give him this one, you know. Hey. Oh no, I skipped it. Did it again. <laughs> Ah, I did it again! What are we doing? And now I'm like tilted, so I'm using Essence Flex late. Oh, you didn't even tap my midnight clock! I swear, part of a learning how to play a deck in Arena is learning what the auto tapper will do to you. Let's go! Corn dog. <laughs> Dude, your deck's actually strong. What the hell? We have both created brand new arena accounts to have a level playing field, and we aren't allowed to spend any money. With whatever cards and wild cards we get with the free packs is what we will use to construct our brawl decks. Once we choose a commander, we will have to use it until it's defeated in a best of three match. So if you lose, you can't use that commander ever again. And if you want to start another account to change colors for your commander, you can do that or you can keep the same account if you choose. And if you win, you must use it in the next battle. Winning will allow you to have another week to enhance your deck by doing the daily quest to unlock more packs. We'll battle once a week in this hardcore brawl showdown. Alright, so I was able to add a couple more cards from doing the dailies. I got a mythic and a rare. I was thinking that Corn Dog is probably gonna go aggro to try to beat this Rusko deck. So I added one Ritual of Soot to destroy all creatures, just another sweeper, and then I also added Shieldred because Shieldred's pretty good when that midnight clock goes to 12. And that's really the only changes we made. I'm very interested to see Corndog's plan of attack against this Rusko deck. So uh, let's just jump right into those games. Nicobolus, that was his answer? Okay. Huh, I don't know. Eh, I thought he was gonna go aggro. But, um, I don't have blue, but I have a cold still heart. We'll try it. We'll try it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, two mulligans? Just go ahead and play our swamp. Oh, Duress, but I need blue, so I have to play the Cold Steel Heart. Hopefully, I draw land. If not, I can opt and hopefully find a land. Yeah. Well, that's an early Rusko. <laughs> nice. Corndog's angry. Corndog's out to get me. I mean, I hopefully can draw some counter magic for this thing. Let's go ahead and opt. I need to hit a land. And then... Uh, man... I want this because you know he has some more removal spell for Rusko. Um, but Rusko costs six, so let's just go ahead and put that back. Hmm. I wonder if he's trying to go like really light on the creatures. Oh no. Did he put in counter magic? What is this? I should have duress first. What am I doing? Okay. 
I should have. <laughs> damn it! I should have dressed first. What are we doing? Hmm. 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 We're just gonna. We're, we'll give Corn Dog a chance. You know, it's what it is. Orcish Bowmasters and what does this do? Okay. I mean, I can just kill the bat with whatever he doesn't take here. Main thing is finding lands. He's got to find another land to play this Nick of Bolas next turn. Imagine if we would have dressed first. This game would be completely different. Alright, so Mind Spike does nothing, right? Because it's non creature, non land card. So I guess all we can really do is pass. Maybe I should have put this on black so I had the castle available. <laughs> I have like all black cards in my hand. I said blue. Alright, we just we, we're gonna have to like dial it in here. We're we're playing a little uh You know, we're not warmed up yet. We should have we should have gotten a few warm up games or something first. Corn dogs deep in the tank. I mean, I don't have any cards in my graveyard, but that makes clock much worse. Damn you, corn dog! You corn nuggets! And blood and snow is gonna be blood on the snow is gonna be worse. Ah oh, man, they're gonna he's gonna mill me out. Guess I'm killing this. Uh let's just play it. I mean Rusko dies again, I'm gonna need to be able to replay it. I guess I can destroy all Planeswalkers. That's pretty good. Especially if he just plays Nicobolus here. Okay. Wish I could attack this. I need to draw a removal spell. That's not a removal spell. Maybe I just play the Mind Spike just to uh, put a counter. Oh wait, did they get a draw card? Oh, that's I didn't know they did get a draw card. That's crazy. I should probably read the cards. We're just trying to give um you know, we're just trying to give Corn Dog a little chance here since he got Obliterated the last game. No blocks. Oh, 
Hold on, I want to tap this for mana. No. There we go. Um, okay. So do we get to attack Ashiok? I'm gonna flash in a little Bowmaster here, no? Huh. Ha ha ha. Oh, no, wait, no! I meant to wait. I did it again, damn it. There we go. Alright, your turn. I guess I could have used the Rona's Vortex, put it on bottom. Um. God damn it, loot monger. Definitely put in some graveyard hates. I feel like we're not, we're playing very terrible right now. We are playing just absolutely terrible. All right, loot my deck. We're gonna kill this thing, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. What you got? I guess maybe I should have cut down first in case this is a counter spell. Oh. Um. Let's use our big. I'm going to draw a card and counter this. Hopefully this goes okay for me. Don't have another counter spell. Don't do it. You can play your bowmaster, and I can take a damage. I guess it's not the end of the world. It's definitely some good stuff that's been exiled. Okay, okay, okay. He's holding on to that Bowmaster for the clock, I guess. But I got a lot of spells in my hand. I don't really have a way to counter this Nicobolus. Like we can deal with the Bowmaster if that's if that's the plan. We'll, we're we're dealing with it. Plenty of ways to deal with it. Um, I mean, this is gonna flip if I play a spell, and that's fine. Let's see if this uh, makes him want to go ahead and use the Bowmaster. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Fading Hope on this thing. And then I'm going to use the Vortex. So he's going to have to replay it. Is 
Then we'll use our impulse. It doesn't matter because it's all going to get shuffled. That's kind of a lot of lands. Not exactly what I was wanting. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's get another clock. That's actually really nasty. Rusko. Too strong. Actually, maybe we should have saved that for... Nicobolus. Um, yeah, it's fine. What are we going to do? That's a card I want. Let's see, do I have enough black mana? Like if I draw a card, could I use the Supreme Will? So one, two, three, yeah, I guess I could. All right, so I imagine it's Nicobola's time. Okay. Well, that means I could use Spell Pierce, because for Nicobolus now... Uh-oh, uh-oh. We play terrible, but Corndog might be going down here. I like that. Alright, I think we're just gonna win this game. Rusko, too strong. <laughs> GG's, alright. We got the first one. So I had a little technical difficulties when recording the second game, and by technical difficulties, I mean I forgot to hit record. But there's no going back. We can't compromise the integrity of the challenge. So we're going to be watching from Corndog's perspective, and I'll be here just to shit talk and make fun of all his plays. I was very interested to see, like, what Corndog does to defeat Rusko. I honestly didn't know... How many, like, good cards there were <laughs> against Rusko um, until this second game? I was feeling, like, insanely confident um, after that first game. We Because we just kind of whooped them on that first game. I was like, there's no way we're going to lose. And I feel like I even had... A decent start, I think. So we see the Dazzling Denial. I think counter spells were pretty good against me. We get this turn to Rusko, and I was like, all right, we're definitely winning this game. We just played a Rusko on turn two. But let's see what happens. How how could Corndog possibly beat a turn two Rusko? It's interesting he... Cons he was considering using the Brother's Hood End. But, I mean, might as well just kind of wait on that. I'm trying to remember. I want to say I had some land trouble this game. All right, well, we at least have, like, our third land Plus the clock is land. All right, we play the hearts. And I guess um, Corndog's plan was just to hold up the quick study. Stifle's pretty good too. The Magda with all the little pain lands, or I don't know what you call them, the ping lands maybe, actually ended up being pretty good for him. 
I'm sure I'm sitting on counters here and like there's no reason to to counter a signet, I think. Clock's already at six. Let's see if we have the fourth land. I mean, we have five lands total with the Cold Heart, but little did we know playing the Cold Heart um, would hurt us with the Brothers Hood end. Okay, we had the the Jaw Redisruption. So now seems like a pretty good time to go for the Brothers Hood end. thinking about it no all right corn dog really thought about this one huh it's funny to see it from his perspective And this, I, I don't have a counter for this. And it's a pretty nice two for one. Okay, I play the Memory Deluge. But getting rid of the clock is so important in this matchup. He does lose his own signet, though, but I'm guessing it was worth it. And he still gets to hold up a cancel, Dazzling Denial. Well, oh, there's a Crypt. Definitely a card just to hate on me. I don't think it does too much here. It's not going to matter till like, late game when we have some some clocks flipping over. Actually, from this point, it seems like Corn Dog's losing the game to me. Like I have, I just got, I just played a Memory Deluge. Corn Dog doesn't really have a whole lot. I mean, I can play around the Dazzling Denial, not necessarily play around it, but um, I could, I could have paid for it. Okay, now he goes for the stifle on the clock. So essentially, that that hurts. I really get nothing out of this Rusko other than a counter. That was a pretty good play. He, he doesn't get to hold up the cancel here, but um, he has the Dazzling Denial. But I think that's just two mana, right? And I, I can pay the two. So I'm guessing he wanted to make sure he could resolve his Nicobolus next turn. So he just made me tap out. Because I'm, I'm guessing what I was thinking is I could play the Teferi and then I could counter the Nicobolus with, I think maybe I had a negate or some kind of counter spell. Um, but this actually worked out pretty poorly for me. Because now he gets to exile uh, or destroy either the Rusko or the Teferi. He goes with Rusko, makes a treasure token. This was what I was confused about. Because um, here he could have sacked the three treasure tokens to make a... A dragon to attack to fairy but instead he just had a cancel so I was kind of confused why he didn't do that but now I realize if he did that he just wouldn't be able to hold up the cancel to like counter Rusko again and I think I go for it I think I go for Rusko again
Oh, I just go for the epiphany. And this is where, like, the game really took a turn. Cause, because now I have a Teferi that's going to die. He has Nicobolus out. My Rusko costs six. He draws a Test of Talents. I mean, Test of Talents is a funny card because, you know, there's one of in every... There's just one ofs, um, so it's never going to get you more value, but it's a card that you know is going to counter something against me. It's kind of a pretty cheap just counter spell because it counters like 90% of my deck. All right, so Teferi dies. I'm super behind here. And then we go for Rusko. And Corndog's pretty low. Corndog's at eight right now. Oh, that's a really nice draw. So, I like at this point, oh, and the notion thief. That's that card. He put that card in just for me. So, here he decides to just protect Nicobolus. Um, I really need to draw like a removal spell to get rid of that dragon so I can attack the Nicobolus, but I'm pretty sure I just whiff. Let's see. Okay, I try to make another Rusko. But I think, why not test the talent this one? It's a sorcery. All right. So the Notion Thief, I think it's like if Anytime I would draw extra cards, he draws them instead. So he doesn't care that my midnight clock is is going to go up. And I don't know why I exiled that from my hand. Why wouldn't I just get a land there? Because then I could have exiled... Yeah, I'm saying oops. I didn't mean to do that. I could have just exiled a land, killed the dragon, attacked Nicobolus, at least like put some damage on it. Mystical Dispute. And now he's like pretty close to getting another dragon. And I'm thinking like my saving grace here is I have this midnight clock that's so close. Like, our Midnight Clock's on 8, so I was feeling like, okay, maybe I can get out of this as long as the Midnight Clock um, goes to 12. The Go Blink is funny, too. I mean, that's pretty good. It's just another card to make the Midnight Clock worse, I guess. Yeah, and here we think we're doing something. So this goes to 11. I think I'm good. And then he plays this Notion Thief. And this uh, is just the most hilarious thing to me. I was dying laughing at this one. I was not expecting this one bit. Definitely used a Mythic on a, a special guest. Or maybe you opened that. I don't know. I don't think you have. Yeah, it's just like the... That's probably from a pack. So I'm pretty sure it's just... Is it a rare card? I can't remember. Uh, that just absolutely wrecked me. And look at his hand now. He's got Grinzo, Bowmaster. Um, 
I don't, yeah, I think I was just done at that point. There's no way. All right, well, we didn't forget to hit record on the third game, so we'll get to go back to my perspective here. Sorry about that. All right, we got down to a big game three here. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep this one. <clears throat> I can't believe what happened last game. Jesus Christ. Talk about a card that was just like meant to beat me. I'm excited we get a game three though. First time uh, in the series we've we've gotten to a big game three. Okay, well I guess probably just takes cut down here. I mean if, if he doesn't take cut down, I'm just gonna cut down whatever cut down the bat and I get back whatever he takes. I think though, um my my I'm probably just gonna play the midnight clock. I need lands, so I'm going to keep it, but we are going to go for Midnight Clock. Even though we got absolutely blown out by Midnight Clock last game. Freaking stole my card draw. Bajookabog. Really hating on my graveyard. So, search for his Kanta. I don't know if it's going to be this good. I'm going to put this one in the graveyard. We're drawing all our swamps. All right, does Brusco get countered? Come on, don't have a counter. Come on. <laughs> yes, I would like to put it in the command zone. Thank you. Grave Expectations is actually really good for him because he pretty much just gets to get a counter spell out of my deck. Like there, I feel like this Rusko is probably never going to resolve. Like I probably shouldn't even play Rusko next turn. I'd probably just start putting counters on this clock. Uh, I'm trying to flip my Azkanta while I can for he plays a bunch of graveyard hate. Ooh, that's dirty. Um, I'm gonna put impulse in the bin. What's up with all these swamps? I really don't want to get heist. Um, uh, I'm gonna kill the bat, I guess. I mean, this leaves us open to just get killed by. I mean, he might just be able to put, um, play Nicobolus, which really sucks. Swamp, Swamp, Red, Blue. Don't have a Swamp? Huh. Definitely has a counter spell, huh? We have a lot of lands. I mean, I can't counter the Nicobolas anyway, so we might as well go for the Rusko. What the fuck is this? Gain control of up to one target. I don't know if I can control. Uh, 
Oh no. What does this do? Exile target parent you control. Well, I don't control it anymore. I'm just the owner. That sucks. <laughs> so, uh, create a ticket of copy target creature you control. Um, I can probably put that in the graveyard. I think that I'm going to foretell. That's really bad. As long as you control skull, tap out two creatures, draw a card for each time creature opponent controls. Okay. Well, that's going to bust before this thing goes away. This shit is so funny. This is like just anti-Resco deck. I felt pretty good after the first match, and then, then we started running into all these hate cards. Um, well, I guess at least I have an Essence Scatter. I, I didn't even read what this does. But it just, I don't want him to play it. I wish I had a stifle. Alright, you get my midnight clock. Enjoy my seven cards that I should have been drawing. <laughs> Corndog really put some uh, some effort into to this deck. I think if we lose this match, which it feels like we're on our way to lose this match, um, I think I'm gonna make like an extremely aggressive deck to deal with this. Like this is all like very specific to Resco. And that's part of the strategy too, right? All right. Well, that would have been good earlier. Don't counter this. Stop countering my Rusko. Our Rusko's already at fucking 10. All right, I mean, it's like, what are we gonna do, sit here while they have all these cards in their hand? I don't think so. Our our hope is like they go f he goes for Nicobolus and then we play an Epiphany I guess. Okay. I think we probably can. Uh, let's get rid of the blur. Ritual Soot. Man, sad I added that to the deck. I really thought he was going to go aggro build. Maybe I can find something... 
That doesn't help me, really. I'm just going to play it as a land. That's probably what I need more. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. Still one away from playing a Rusko. <sighs> I don't think we're gonna. I feel like we're not gonna get a Rusko out the rest of the game. Like these are probably all counter spells. Oh, that is so nasty. We're crying. We are crying now. <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're not going to concede. I want Corn Dog to enjoy this because I know I made him absolutely miserable uh, the first episode. Ah. Uh, uh. Damn, I hate playing against Grinzo. I really do. I hate Grinzo. I like to. I like it when he's on. When I play him, but uh, God, Grin Grinzo, Narset. God, he turned our deck just absolutely against us. <laughs> oh, it's my turn? <laughs> um, I can't really use this. I guess we have to as Kanta. Okay. That could be a solution, but I mean, he just replays it next turn. Like, what does that even really do for me? We are so screwed. <laughs> we are so screwed. I know that's very satisfying to be on uh, Corn Dog's side, so I don't, you know, I don't want to. I don't want it to end yet. You gotta. Sometimes you just gotta let them <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh... <laughs> Time warp. Oh man, that's so funny. Notion Thief. That one got me so good. What is this? Oh, man. This is pretty funny, though. I was feeling so good after that first game. Oh, that's freaking funny, too. <clears throat> If that came down early, I would have never got a clock. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll exile Swamp. Um, I'll consider. <laughs> All right, corn dog. You got me. What the hell was that? <laughs> Did you get it all right? You get it this time? Uh, it, you built, like, the perfect deck to... To hate on me <laughs> yeah dude I, I i at one point i had i had that card that uh that makes people skip extra turns but i was like no 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 that's too much 
Uh, um, yeah, I, I just looked. I looked at all the parts of Rust. And I was like, man, I got, I got to just try to counter everything. And uh, yeah, I was feeling really good after that first game. I was like, all right, yeah, I'm we're good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then that notion thief like. Ro- just, <laughs> that was goofy as hell, right? I, I was not <laughs> expecting that. And then, yeah. What about the uh, scroll of Isildur? I was, I was, that was a last minute addition. <sighs> the uh, stealing an artifact. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did some research for sure on uh, how to <laughs> how to beat yeah. my deck. <laughs> This is the this is the first time I've uh I've beaten like actually beaten a Rusko deck now you know, like constructed or brought you know so now what I'm interested saying? to to think about what I need to do to beat a deck that's just hates on Rusko might have to go like <laughs> uh just crazy aggro or something I don't know yeah yeah I mean re- regardless th- those are some good games man I was really scared after that first game I was like. <laughs> Am I just trying to do what he's doing, but like, but like his like deck is better? You know what I mean? I was like, I was getting in my head, but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh man, uh, I'm gonna just win two zero again. Like it's uh, the first game didn't even really feel like a match. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, this. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Resco's just too strong, I guess. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fir- first game, I did, I did think I was cooked, but um, yeah, I'm excited to see what you what you what you bring against this one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna cook something up for you.